Hello everybody, it's Michelle Patterson here with Angel Souls and this is our daily card reading for May 20th, 2022. Angelsouls444.com for personal readings and the bright events, Substack, all that stuff is in the description box below. Let's see what we have going on for today. Ooh. Okay. Yeah, some of you are really waking up and realizing what you want. <laughs> so it's going to be a good day in that respect. Let's see. Yeah, Eight of Raphael. I'm walking away from this. I ain't having it. There's something better. Oh, there's something better waiting for you is actually what the card says. Do what you know is right for you, a spiritual quest. See, I told you, someone's coming back and selling you a story. And, you know, again, I'm promising the world. I can give you everything, baby. <laughs> again, for some of you, it's uh, an old coworker or an old boss. And people might be very tempted to go back to an old way because maybe where you've been headed, it's been suffering a little bit. And so, you know, just kind of out of panic going into something or... If you're talking love, this could be someone who just goes back to an ex because they're tired of being alone. It's not a good enough reason to go back to a situation that you obviously left for some reason. So whatever it is, you're deciding it's not enough. That's not enough. You showing up this time to tell me the same story over and over and over, not falling for it again. I don't want to go back to that kind of work. I was never happy in that kind of work. You see what I'm saying? And you're looking for the way forward, but it has to be something that really lights up your heart. And again, answers come through meditation. So there's a big message around that as well. But you are going off to a journey. Uh, for some of you where all those cards that we've been getting over the past few days, if that is like an old love partner comes back and you're like, this is it. We've gone through so many soul lessons. It's time for us to settle down with each other. It's happily ever after. It could be you moving on. Like if you've always been single or you've been single for a very long time, you're moving away from being single and being in a committed partnership. It could be that for some of you, but uh, overwhelmingly, I feel like people are just like, I'm not accepting that anymore. It's not worth it to me. I'm out of here. So you decide what resonates for you. We're going to leave it there. I'm sending you so much love and take care.